Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about the aperture problem. In computer vision, we encounter this in problems like motion estimation. Now, consider this black rectangle on a white background and it's moving back and forth in the horizontal direction. If we consider only a small region in the middle of this rectangle, we look at the pixel intensities to try to find the motion. In that case, we don't see any motion because it's completely flat in the center. So this point is actually not good for estimating the motion of the rectangle. How about the horizontal edge? Well, the motion is horizontal and the edge is horizontal. So this point too doesn't see any change in pixel intensities. So this too is very bad. On the other hand, this is a vertical edge and the vertical edge clearly sees a horizontal motion. So this is great, but again, we know the vertical edge will not see a vertical motion and horizontal edges will not see a horizontal motion. So the best kinds of features that help us see all kinds of motion, both horizontal and vertical, are these corner features. And that's why while doing motion estimation, we first try to find these corner because other parts of the image, they suffer from this problem called aperture problem. We are looking at the image through a small window. In motion estimation, typically, for example, in Lucas Canade optical flow, we first find features and around the, that region, we try to estimate the motion. We are not looking at the entire image. Even mm -hmm. if you were looking at the entire image, you could think about the entire image as an aperture. You do not have access to the whole world. You're looking at the world through this aperture. And so you can estimate only certain kinds of motion if you're not looking at corners. I hope this video helps you understand the aperture problem in motion estimation. Thank you.